Rooting on the Tibetan Plateau. Princess Jinching, Empress of Chubo Zampo. In 705, the Tang Dynasty, Jai Tsudan succeeded to the throne as Zampo of the Chubo Dynasty. And his grandmother, Chai Tsudan, who had been in control of the government, sent her minister, Saikinj, into the Tang Dynasty to present a gift to the Zampo requesting that he marry Tang Princess. For the sake of border peace, the Tang Emperor married Princess Jinching, the daughter of Yong Wanli Shuli, to the Zampu. In the third year of Qingdong 709, the Chubo sent people to Chang'an to welcome the princess, and Emperor Li Shan hosted a banquet in the court. Tang Jinglong for years, the Tang Dynasty sent left guard General Yao Moment to escort the Qingqing princess into Tibet. Li Xian personally sent to the first flood county, now Shanxi Singi and gave tens of thousands of pie of Jinglin Lion, a large number of miscellaneous messenger, Otizans, and the Tortoise Orchestra, at the same time, but also changed the first flood county for Jinjing County, changed the township for Phoenix Paul Township, the ground for the Pathos belief, and promulgate the Jinjing Princess married system of the book. Princess Jinjing along the Silk Road to Gansu, and then through the Qinghai Heiyuan, Yushu and other places into Tibet by taking the same route as Princess Wenqing. After a long journey, they finally came to the capital of Chubo. The Tibetan people, on their way, welcomed the Tang Dynasty princess, and the Tibetan King Chai Tsudin was pleased. When Princess Jinqing married, she brought many brocades, artisans, and technicians. After she entered Tibet, she sent specialists to the Central Plains to obtain cultural texts such as MAO poetry spring and autumn annals, and rites of passage. The introduction of these poems and books significantly influenced the development of the language and writing as well as the whole culture of the Chubo. Princess Jinching's husband, Chitsudan, was particularly fond of her culture. During this period, most of the cultural relics and systems of the Chubo adopted those of the Tang Dynasty, and Chinese language and writing were also prevalent in the Chubo. When King Chedi Zudin of Tibet succeeded to the throne, he was very young, and his ministers mainly controlled his foreign military policies. When he became an adult, he was often deceived by the border generals. And although he intermarried with the Tang family, the wars between the Tang and the Chubo occurred from time to time in the image of the princess of Jinchen murals in the Patala Palace. Chubo army had successive setbacks, so Kaidi Zedudan sent envoys into the Tang to seek peace. Tang Xuanzong sent Huang for Weiming to the Chubo and delivered a letter to the princess. The Tibetan king was pleased and sent minister named Shi Lai to Tang and forwarded Chi Dezudan and princess of Jinching's gift and the Tibetan king Chai Dezudan's letters. The Tang Xuanzong to the Chubo envoy named Saira for generous hospitality and concluded with the Chubo to Chiling Qinghai Chun Yuan Ryu Mountain as the boundary of non aggression and peace and set up a monument engraved with the covenant which is the third time that the Tang and the Chubo and the Alliance. Tibetan History Rumors Tang Xuanzong Tiangbeo's first year seven for two. Princess Jinching's pregnancy and the Tibetan King Chai Tse Judan's other Queen Nong female Fine Dan learned very jealously, spread around claiming that they were pregnant. When Princess Qingqing gave birth to Prince Trisong Detsin, Hinton took the child away from her and claimed it was her own which the Tibetan king and his ministers never decided. Princess Jinching was in great pain. According to ancient Tibetan customs, a wedding party for the baby prince's ability to walk should be held when a prince can talk and walk. Chai Sultan held a banquet to celebrate, inviting the relatives of the two queens and the ministers. The king of Tibet filled a golden wine cup with good wine and gave it to the little prince, saying, My son, you should give this cup of wine to your uncle, the people of the Neon family lured him in different ways, but the prince went to the side of Princess Kinching's family and handed the golden cup to them. At this moment, Princess Kanagi burst into tears and jumped for joy, because she could be with her son forever after being separated from him since he was born. Although this story of the prince's recognition of his mother is a legend, it reflects the Tibetan people as early as more than a thousand years ago. To Recognize the scene of Tibetan flesh and blood, an inseparable relationship. Princess Jinching was buried on the Tibetan plateau in the 29th year of the Tang Dynasty 7 for 1. From her marriage to Chubo to the end of her life, she lived in Chubo for 32 years.
always boiling a piece of tang, fan peaceful coexistence of the wish, and to this end made significant contributions to the dissemination of Sino, Tibetan friendship to the exhaustion of the blood and effort.